Hi guys, it's Daminigan bringing you a Battlefield 5 video. Today I will be demonstrating a very simple trick to significantly improve your frame rate in Battlefield 5 without causing a massive spike in your mouse lag. Before we go any further, please note that the technique I am showing right now is for Nvidia users, but AMD cars should have a similar option in their respective control panels. Now the first step is simply to enable future frame time rendering in game. Now I know what you are all thinking, this will cause terrible mouse lag. What I am about to tell you is based on an article by Captain Prelium on Reddit which I will link in the description. To understand this technique we must talk about the variable in Battlefield 5 called known as render device render ahead limit. By default when selecting the future frame time rendering the game would default to a setting of negative 1. This value of negative 1 corresponds to the Windows 10 default assigned to the variable known as maximum pre-rendered frame. It is important to note that the variable known as maximum pre-ordered frames is the same as what we find in game known as future frame time rendering. I am not going to waste time explaining this because Captain Prelium has already explained this in his extensive Reddit post which as I said earlier is linked in the description. Now, when we enable the future frame time rendering in game, we will immediately notice, well at least I think most people will, that the mouse feels terrible and it feels like I am playing with VSync. This is obviously not acceptable even though we gain like 30 or even 40 frames per second extra in some cases. This is simply because the variable of minus 1, which is activated when enabling the future frame time rendering from the options menu, causes the render ahead limit to be set to minus 1. This minus 1, as I said earlier, is the Windows default, which is 3. The Windows default is a maximum pre render frames of 3. This is actually terrible. What we'll need to do is right click the desktop. Select NVIDIA control panel, go to manage 3D settings, go to the program settings tab and from the drop down menu select Battlefield 5. Once you're there, simply go to maximum pre-rendered frames and select the number 2. 2 is I found to be the best compromise between frame rate and mouse lag. I could not perceive any additional mouse lag, in fact it feels pretty much identical to Battlefield 1 which is what I wanted. But we still gain a massive increase in frames on the order of 15, 20, even 30 frames per second extra and a much more stable frame rate overall. This is especially useful if you have a weak CPU. After you've done this, simply click apply, forget about this, restart the game and you will have a silky smooth Battlefield 5 experience, at least much smoother than you had before. You will not experience mouse lag and you will have a permanently active solution on the game. The problem from using a config file or simply the console for doing this is that for some reason this setting simply resets randomly within the game. This can occur during all tapping or just during normal play and will result in a very inconsistent and bad frame rate since this setting is simply gone. That's pretty much all I had to say about this video, I wanted to keep it short and sweet. My name's been Dan Minigun and you've been watching, well, Dan Minigun. I'll see you on the battlefield. Close it! Dice